What's going on guys? My name is Dan and welcome back to Low Country Fishing. And in today's trip, I'm heading out to the Savannah Jetties in search of some very big fish. Now, last night we had a big rainstorm come through that dumped an absolute pile of water in the entire Savannah River Basin. And man, that current is gonna be flying coming out of there today. But I'm gonna do everything I can to keep this big 22 foot bay boat in place as I pick those rocks apart and hopefully we can catch us a nice big monster. So let's get started. There's one. Oh, that's a nice red fish. Oh, stay with me, baby. Stay with me, baby. That's the fish I wanted right there. Thumped it right on those rocks, too. I don't have a net ready. Oh, that might be. Yeah, that's a red fish. I was gonna say that might be a, a trout. Well, that's just the angry mama redfish. Trying to multitask here. Keep pressure on her. Get my net ready. Woo! Yeah, that's a full grown one there. Come on up, baby. Oh yeah, big redfish, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we gotta come. Let's see if I can get her right here at the boat. Yes, sir, man, that's the fish I wanted. That's the fish I didn't get at the creek. I got my fish at him. <laughs> Easy. And I got her on artificials too. Oh, even more fun. Here we go. Yes, dude. Oh. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, boys. Man, God, I love when a plan comes together. The jetties never disappoint, never. So there she is, nice big old bull redfish on artificials. My preferred way of catching them measure out bang 31 and a half all right so let's get this big girl back got to be very careful out here at the jetties there are sharks so if you uh, do kind of hold these fish in the water too long you do have the potential of getting uh, shark bitten so we'll go ahead and nose her in oh she's done all right later all right so a little update, we only caught one redfish so far. The current is ripping out of there and I don't wanna destroy my trolling motor uh, battery. So we're gonna come back when the current's a little bit lower around that lower tide phase. Honestly, we'll be around this major feeding window anyway, which is gonna be the best time to fish today. Uh, and then we'll return to the rocks and we'll continue doing our thing with artificials or maybe set up with some live bait or whatever. But in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna head inshore. I'm gonna maybe hit some uh, spots where some redfish or trout may be, possibly some flounder. And I'm also gonna keep my eye out for some jacks. These big jacks should be pushing all up and down this river channel and in this general area right now. Uh, and with the water uh, being as calm as it is and wind being as calm as it is, hopefully I can find some of those big girls pushing around. So let's go find them. All right, so let's get us a lure, a lure. I know I got a lot. It's okay though, just don't tell my wife. All right, so we're fishing inshore. Water clarity is not terrible. So let's go with this. This is Sexy Finny. This is a diesel minnow four inch uh, body size. And uh, this color here is uh, dynamite, you guys. This color right here alone has caught me more fish than any other color in my Z-Man bag. And that's, uh, that's because it works in this dark murky water. Got a lot of gold flash in this thing, and it uh, really, really grabs the fish's attention. Not to mention the lifelike uh, design of this paddle tail. When you swim this thing along, that tail kicks, boom, 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 
and with this articulating eye strike Texas eye head, this thing will just articulate like crazy. It's the closest thing to a realistic bait that you can get, in my opinion, that comes in a soft plastic variety. So let's throw this thing around. Got everything pretty much still the same with my bait caster. And I'm just gonna kinda hit some areas not too far from the jetties because I do wanna come back to this general area. So let's start picking it apart. Some of these spots hold fish, some of them don't. Some of them hold a lot of fish. Sometimes I come here and there's no fish. <laughs> you just gotta go through the motions. That's the bottom. I'd like to pull a flounder off of this little spot here. That'll be a good start today. I don't really plan on keeping any fish, but if I can catch one 15 inch flounder, I'll put her in the frying pan. Boop. Maybe even turn this video into a catch, clean, and cook. I got some good feedback from you guys on the last video. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are interested in me throwing in some cooking videos, so I don't mind doing that. I'm not going to turn this channel into a cooking channel, uh, but I do like to cook. I think I am a pretty decent cook, and uh, I got a lot of really cool recipes that uh, my family loves, and I would love to share them with your family as well. Some of the stuff might be uh, stuff you guys already cook, or some of you guys might be bachelors out there that don't even know how to turn the stove on. <laughs> We're gonna uh, we're gonna start cooking just a little bit though. I think I got a flounder on here. Yep. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny how that works out? Wow. Wow. Oh, you're gonna be close. You're gonna be close. Oh, so this little guy was was eating. So that was in his mouth there. That looks like. Uh, maybe a leftover mullet or something of that sort just threw that thing up all over me Can you get the camera dirty a little bit let's get you cleaned up wiki 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 no uh, that didn't make it that much better let's try the towel there we go that's what we want all right guy hey 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 hey, hey. i just cleaned the camera okay they get it clean all right we're clean Ooh, you're gonna be close. You only gotta be 12 in Georgia and you, sir, are 14. 14 is good for the frying pan. I'll put him in the live well. That's a possible maybe. If I get a 15 or 16, I'll exchange him out. All right. We, uh, we got one. Let's see if we can find two. fish oh, oh i missed it dang oh i waited so long to set the hook all right i gotta put proc here on this thing that was another flounder really close to where that other fish was caught that was uh two casts later yeah the hook is good i gotta put some scent on it i'll put something on it that'll make them want to keep it so what i do here you guys is i just dry the lure off and then when i put that procure on that procure will stick better to a dry bait as opposed to a uh, a wet bait, so let's hit them with uh, let's hit them with that big bottle of blue crab. I got this monster right here at River Supply not too long ago. Uh, just remember, if you guys are in the in the uh, Thunderbolt Savannah area, don't forget about River Supply. Great little tackle shop. They got all kinds of stuff, rods and reels, etc. And if you are one of my active patrons, you get ten percent off of everything that's on my Low Country Fishing display. So get yourself a little bit of savings as well as some good products like that bang eight ounces <laughs> that's it that's a whopper size bottle there boy <laughs> there are there are so many gar up here feeding the current and there's a flounder in the current too what are you right flounder right no baby red another red boy i uh I'm on flounder watch up here. <laughs> Another small redfish. Little dude. So right here, that water kind of comes through these two little islands. And anywhere where water funnels is a good spot to find flounder. 
And I saw those gar stacked up in there. Apparently there's some, uh, some little small reds in there too. That little guy there didn't even make the slot. And I got a serious little wrap tip from her jumping all over the place, so. Oh boy, let's get this fixed. Brand new spot, got the trolling motor locked down. Boy, this thing looks fishy. Got a nice little subtle depth change here, nice little mud bank. You got some pylons that are uh, down in the water. It looks like some sort of a range tower maybe that fell over at some point. And I'm guessing those pylons come out pretty far. It looks, uh, it definitely looks good. Let's see if there's any fish on it. It's gotta be a flounder on this thing, man. It just looks so good. Got him. Oh, she had it. Oh, she had it. That was definitely a flounder. Duh. Got her. <laughs> I knew there had to be flounder on this thing. She wanted to slow drag, threw it back in there and just drug it. Hi, baby. Let's see if you'll handle the boat flip. Yep. All right. There's flounder number two, about same size as the last one. Pretty little girl. That is exactly where I thought flounder would be, man. I just wish they were a little bit bigger. This girl is 13. You only gotta be 12 in Georgia. Oh look, is that line? Oh no, I see we we'll let her go back. I want a little bit bigger. There it is. Got her. Yeah, it worked. Oh, it's a little girl. You can keep her head down. <laughs> little girl well I got her that was what was important to me I got her well there's two there man these are little guys too Big jacks, big jacks, big jacks. Big jacks, big jacks. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they just swam by so fast. There's about four of them. Where'd they go? Is that them on the point? Oh, this could get messy. Oh, they're right here under the boat. Look at them. Oh, they're right under the boat. Watch this. Ooh, I gotta get these in. Oh, they're right under the boat. All right, boys. The big jacks just showed up. I think they're over here on the bait too. All 
All right, bait just got sprayed. Oh, is this him right here? Yep, it's him right here. Look. Oh, they're right. They went right under the boat. Here we go. Oh, they went right under the boat again. Man, they're quick. Man, where are they going now? <laughs> yeah. I saw the bait. So they're staying with the bait. Here they come again. Are they making a turn or is that a engine? engine wake where they go so they're out here they saw the boat and went under me again dang it man all right I got big motor off I'll come on trolling motor if I see them again there they are there they are right there big school Come on, right there. All right, here they are. They're on it, they're on it, they're on it. They're on it, they're on it. I'm on, yeah, baby. All right, we gotta go. Yes, ah, got it. <laughs> I got my jack, baby. Let's go, boys. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it paid off. Oh, the work paid off. Ugh. There we go. And I got the right rod. I got the right gear today too. Oh, I got broke. No, no. What happened? Oh, his tail frayed me. Dang it. Oh man. Well, I can't be disappointed in today. Uh, I did get a nice big bull red to start the morning. I hit about four flounder, something like that. I got one in the box here. I'll probably just let her go. And then I did locate my school of jacks. I did hook up with a rod in the setup that I wanted to. Unfortunately, the weakest part in this entire system is the 20 pound Power Pro braid. Uh, I think I'm going to step up to 30 now after seeing that those th that she basically broke me off right there at the swivel. That was that was literally the weakest connection point due to the line. But uh, man, I, I I can't be upset. I'm a little frustrated that I didn't get the fish, but I can't be upset because it was still a spectacular day, man. What a great day out here at the jetties and in this general area. Uh, the weather actually held up for me nicely. It was a very beautiful day out here. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget, hit that thumbs up on the way out, man. Thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, summer is here. I can't wait to get out here and start doing more of this big fishing style uh, approach. I just need to uh, have the good weather to do it. So, all right, guys, I'm out. Thanks. Peace.